All right. So we're going to look at your site administrator role. So this is the role in Moodle that can really just do everything. Um, so what we're going to go through is a process of creating a course and then bulk uploading those users into a course to enroll them. So before you do anything, you need to create a CSV file. And you'll see the different columns here. So let's go ahead and pull up the CSV file. And we'll just talk through this. So coming to the CSV here, you always have to have a username that has to be unique as well as the email address has to be unique. So traditionally we find that you may, you'll want to make the username the same as the email address. So you're just having just one identifier. The password you can define in this column. Then we have first, last name, and then what's important to pay attention to is the course one and this item here is the short name. So we want to make sure the course short name matches what you have in this field because that's going to drive the enrollments into the course. And then this role is the field that this user has in that course. So that's the role in the context of what they can do inside of the course. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy client seven because we'll make that our course short name. So let's go back over now to the document. So we'll log into Moodle and we'll go through the backup process. Once the course is backed up, then we'll be able to restore it. So coming to this page, we're going to go through all of steps 1 through 14 as I go through it right now. So coming into Moodle, you want to use the master course template. That's the most current and always, you know, the latest version of your course if you do up, update it and so forth. So coming into the course, you just want to click on backup. On this screen, you want to deselect user role assignments. You do not want to bring that over. Everything else you can leave selected. And then you can just click on jump to final step. This is going to create a course backup, so an exact copy of the template, but now we're going to create it for an individual or a client specific. So the backup's created. So you can see right here, we just created the backup. So now let's go through the process of restoring it. So this is where that course short name comes into play. So on these pages, you don't need to do anything. You just need to hit continue, and we'll do this a couple times. You want to select the category. There's only one category to select and then press continue. And then on this screen, you can ignore it all. So you just hit next. So now this is where that short name comes into play. Remember from the CSV? So now we'll want to put the client seven as I copied that. Also for the course name, you might want to add that at the beginning of it just so you can start you know, you can easily identify what course is what client. Once you have that short name in there and it matches what's in the CSV file, see there, then we are practically ready to upload the CSV now. So coming over here, we'll hit next. And then finally, perform restore. We are now restoring that course as its own individual course for that specific client. So once this is done processing, we'll be able to see that this course is now named Client 7-Work Ethic Development Course. So it's a pretty straightforward process considering you're really just hitting continue for the most part. And now see right here, Client 7, Client 7. So we have the course prepped and ready. So let's jump back to the documentation. We have completed steps 1 through 14 now. If you do need to reference the video um, or the documentation, just feel free to hit pause on the video. So once the course is created, we are now ready to upload the groups. So this is a reminder, you want to do the groups after you upload the users. So let's jump down here to the bulk upload and enroll users because we can't create groups unless there's users to put into the groups. So we've already spoke about the CSV in this first column. So let's go through the process of now uploading it. So we're going to go through steps one through eight, and we're going to show you this process of and putting those users into the course. So this is the CSV. We'll hit save. And we'll go back to Moodle now. So in Moodle, you'll want to go over to the site administration. 
and you have users, accounts, and then we can upload users right here towards the bottom. Coming in here, we're going to select that CSV file. So we'll hit choose file. All right, so the file's selected there, and then we hit upload this file. Then we press upload users. So you can see now that we have those users coming in. So coming down here, um, you'll see that all of these settings are pretty much defaulted, so you don't need to change anything. But let's look at the documentation. So we uploaded the CSV file, we previewed it, do not change the default settings, upload user results. So let's jump over and upload this now. So go into Moodle, coming down here, upload users. So you can see two users have been created and they were enrolled at seeing that client seven course. So we have those enrollments now completed and then we press continue. So let's go look at that client seven course. So you can see here, we have that example. Coming into here now, we can confirm those users were enrolled by clicking on users, enrolled users, and now you can see all the different enrollments that have been placed into that course. So it's a pretty straightforward process in order to do that. So this now concludes the training for uploading the users. Um, and you'll see, as I just showed, inside the user page, you'll see that they have their assigned roles.